Hi, Steve Jones here with the Hardscape Channel with a past school paver school attendee, Alex Ferris. Steve, good to see Alex, you. Alex, when you were when you came to our school a number of years ago, you were with uh, Baselight, correct? Correct. And today you're with Ewing. Ewing Irrigation, correct. And tell us a little bit about Ewing and what they do in hardscapes. Well, about four years ago, um, Ewing is owned um, by a family, the York family, and about four years ago they decided to get into um, the hardscape part of it. They wanted to diversify from the irrigation, got to keep up with the times. So um, we started and um, we'll probably do about 10 or 11 million dollars this year in um, hardscape sales. Really? Yes. And, that, and that, do you have all your locations uh, deal with hardscapes or you just got a select few? We rolled it out as a select few, mm -hmm. but most of them now are starting to sell it. So the 190 branches we have. Oh, 190? 190 of all them. All over the country? All over the country, from California all the way to Florida. Okay. Um, probably about half of them are selling hardscapes. And my job, too, besides selling in Northern California, is to educate them on you know, installs, you know, since I learned it from you. <laughs> 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 and I learned it from Bill. And yeah, we, we, we pass these things along, yes, we right? Do. We do. And then, and then, of course, we make our mistakes and learn from those, too. Yes, yes. I haven't stopped making mistakes, but I, but I, hopefully I'll continue to learn. I make I them every on. day. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what's uh, what do you find the most exciting thing in hardscapes for, you know, moving forward here into 2013? I, I think that since 2008 to now, it was, it's been a little slow. Economically, it's been a little slow. But... I see from this show, good turnout. We were here last year and the year before, a little iffy. This year, uh, the foot traffic is tenfold, and I, I, I see it turning around. And, and that's going to help Ewing, it's going to help your business, it's going to help everybody. So, Well, you know, it's interesting, uh, being on the Hardscape uh, Committee uh, for the show, Yes. I, I got the numbers uh, last night or this morning, 46% increase in registrants for the hardscape for the portion of the sure. show. Yeah. So that's a huge, huge growth. I mean, yeah, we've been limping along, but I, the attitudes that I'm getting from the people that we've been interviewing and talking to our customers in the booth, very positive outlooks, and we're really excited and hopeful. And I hate to use the word hopeful. Hope. Mm -hmm. Yes. For yes. <laughs> yes. And I don't want to use other words like that because they already seem to be in a political campaign somewhere. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Correct. I'm optimistic. So am I. I think they use that one. I, I, I think that... <laughs> 2013 that it's going to be a, a pretty good year for for hardscapes and um, for Ewing especially too since we're continually growing mm -hmm. we started out with two million in sales six million in sales and we'll do 10 to 11 and then we'll hopefully we project 15 to 20 in 2013. Wow very, yeah. Nice. Yeah. very nice and then that means we can hire more people to service our landscape contractors because that's who we're targeting is our landscape contractors because through the irrigation thing that's who you have that's who we have our database is unbelievable so if we can get the landscapers not to sub it out like they used to do keep it in-house mm -hmm. it makes them more profitable too now we just have to get you and your hardscape specialist managers out to the school have them pick up some skills yes and pass them on to the people in their markets and, and, and steve that is the biggest thing with the guys that run branches they're irrigators and we need to get them a little bit more diversified and to sell if, if we have 50 stores selling them and we have 190 stores if we have all 190s could you imagine what our sales would be oh it could be astounding. in the 30 40 million yeah yeah and, and if we can get those guys focused and understanding hardscape so that they can actually help their customers rather than just being a material supplier absolutely got to get that knowledge and, yes and that is so helpful to help even help sell the you know when, when landscapers make that turn to, to start to do hardscapes, Correct. they really need guidance. Absolutely. And they need somebody with knowledge and, and background to say, this is your evolution. Right. Follow the path. We'll get you there. To, we'll get you to success. But you have to be there to help them. And, and our goal is, you know, the landscape contractors can't do the streets or any big jobs like that. We want them to do the walkways, the patios, the truckloads half a truckloads that's what our focus is for the residential part so if we can sell that and let myself and the other specialists worry about the commercial stuff we'll be successful and we're successful now yeah we're doing a good job so yeah but it, but as i know i mean like my own business we can always do better absolutely the more effort we put into it the more it returns to us and, and especially when it comes to knowledge and education when you the, the more your staff 
has a grasp of what's going on, the enthusiasm grows exponentially. Yes. Yes. You know, there's companies that we deal with in this industry that could care less. And, you know, and, and it's it's not surprising that we don't do any business with those people. Yep. Because they have no passion. The people that have passion, the people that, that, that truly get into what we do, we're all friends and, and friend, friends, vendors, and customers. Yes, yes. Because we all are going towards the same direction. Yeah, to be successful in this <laughs> business, too. And, and and I do have to say that Ewing has done a great job in education. I've, you know, I've been with Baselight for 17 years, but I've never seen the emphasis they put on educating their contractors. I mean, the amount of money that they spend on myself to travel across the country to teach these guys how to install properly. And then we then we feed them a little bit on my four hour class and then we try to get them into the level one class of ICPI. So they're a little bit more knowledgeable. But the best way to do is hands on. And so maybe we can do something. It's uh, gotta get with, dirty yes. and you gotta yeah. hurt a little you bit. You gotta hurt a little bit, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how well a uh, knowledge takes hold when you when you feel pain with it. Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> I learned I, that from my wife actually. Well, she taught I, me well. <laughs> and I felt a lot of pain going through your class. <laughs> Physically and mentally. <laughs> well, I'm sorry about both of those scars. <laughs> Alex, it's been a great pleasure. Pleasure, Steve. Good All seeing right. you again. This is Steve Jones and Alex Ferris signing off from the Hardscape Channel here in Louisville, 2012.